Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a Let's Play and Initial Impressions review for Astro VR, a game that was released back in November of 2022, if I'm not mistaken, on the Steam Store. It normally retails for $3. It released in Early Access. And I bought this game app, whatever you want to call it. Astro VR is basically a space simulation where you can observe the universe, the galaxy, the known universe, and see a lot of the celestial objects. Obviously, Sol refers to our sun, and if you're familiar with Alpha and Proxima Centauri, which I believe are the closest stars to, to us. If I'm not mistaken, I might be mistaken. I'm definitely not <laughs> a expert, an expert on space. I, uh, um, but I do enjoy space. Uh, I like thinking about the vastness of the universe and just the mysteries of the universe and you know everything that we don't know about how this universe works, you know. <laughs> I think that a lot of people believe that Earth is at the center of the universe or even center of the galaxy or that our galaxy is somehow important, but it, it is not. Um, I think we're finding that out with recent scientific discoveries uh, thank you to all the different telescopes and all the different satellites that we've launched that we can see the universe more clearly. Uh, but like I said, this is an early access, and basically what this lets you do is, first of all, you have this Applications menu, and it lets you move and also zoom in. And once you... Let's go ahead and let's just do that. Let's let's zoom in to our, to our sun. So we're, we're zooming in. We're zooming... We're zooming... Uh-oh. We want to get a little higher. And obviously we can see Saturn. Oh, crap. We can see Saturn, and we can see the Sun, and we can see Venus, we can see Mercury, and if we want to get even closer, we can, and if you want to take off all the little labels, you can. I, I wish there was a way to turn it off uh, completely. I basically press trigger, and you can, let, let's zoom out a little bit, because uh, definitely... I definitely want to uh, be able to see some of the planets and stuff. Okay, I think we're, I think we're good here. I think we can see Mercury. We can see Venus. Where's Earth? <laughs> Somewhere. Uh, where is Earth? It doesn't matter. We'll we'll find it eventually, right? But there's Mercury. Um, there's not just celestial objects, but well, I guess they're all celestial objects. But you know, there's satellites uh so these are aren't just uh planets but you know there are moons asteroids uh satellites so all kinds of different celestial objects and like i said you can go in closer or or zoom in and the really cool thing about this is if i want to get this correctly though i, I don't want to mess this up i kind of feel like i already messed this up somehow it's not working like it was earlier. I'm having more trouble now. There's Mars, there's Venus, there's Mercury. And what you do is you can manipulate time. Like so let's get this right. So uh what can you, what you can do is you can go stellar information. Obviously, you see the different planets and the options, and then you can uh Right now, there's no time scale, but we want one second. Yeah, we want things to go fast. So about one second is five hours, so we can see the celestial objects in motion. <laughs> uh, but here, you can very clearly see Mercury uh, rotating around the sun. And you see Mars over there. Um, and Venus over there. And if we go further out, let's further out, um, eventually we'll see Earth, right? 
So is he Europa? Wow. <laughs> As you can see, Earth is very difficult to find. Uh, it, it's here, so I'm just not seeing it. But it, it's trust me, it is here. Uh, obviously, it's further than Mercury or Venus, but it's very close to Mars. So we should... Uh, obviously, this is not to scale, because obviously the sun would look a lot bigger if it were. But uh, that's something that the developer is working on, to make this a one-to-one -one scale. Uh, and there's Earth. There it is. Right, it's right here. Okay, so there we go. Let's let's take off all the labels so we can see and can see some of this. <laughs> obviously, Earth looks a lot bigger here. Um, obviously, we're farther away from the sun, so it should look smaller, but I still think the scales are off. Because the sun is a whole lot bigger than the Earth. So even at a big distance, I still think it would look bigger th than the Earth. Um, but there, there you go. You see the dip Venus. And which, which one is this one? Is this a Mercury? I don't know. Which one is this one? Uh, I, I don't know. There's a little... There's an object rotating a lot closer than I would... Anticipate around the sun. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But obviously you can uh, go away from the from our little galaxy. And you, you can see your Uranus the way it's... In fact, let, let's, uh, let's focus on Uranus. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. <laughs> okay, let's, let's try to focus on, on Uranus. See if we can get it. Okay, let's. And ooh, ooh, wow! Look, look at the little. We're gonna have to slow down in time a little bit because time's going too fast. Okay, one day. Okay, there we go. Okay, <laughs> they're going a little bit slower now. You see all the rotate. You see how it's different rotation than. A how the sun was rotating. Uh, you see how the the galaxy is not like some even thing 2D. It's it's 3D. They're rotating in different directions. Um, it's very interesting. You see those little two little moons and the bigger moons rotating farther away from Uranus. Whoa, look at that. Okay, I'm going to have to slow down time even more because this is just going too fast. Okay, whoo. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it was rotating way too fast. But you see the detail that you get here? This is uh and all the different little names for all the different little moons for for Uranus, all the different little uh some of them might not even qualify as moons. Some of them might just be uh little asteroids. That, well, I I guess they might be all be moons. I mean, I'm not really sure. Uh but yeah, see the ring around Uranus. <laughs> I keep saying, oh my god, I hope this doesn't sound awful. This is all scientific, this is all for science, this is nothing funny about it, it's just, you know, it's the planet in our galaxy, and you can see all the moons rotating around, it's really quite awesome actually. And you see Pioneer, so if we want to look at Pioneer and see where it's at, you know, we can... I'm going to have to go for for a little bit. Let's see. Ah. So the controls can be a little bit awkward. No, but I'm going to have to go like this. How far is Pioneer 10? Wow. Pioneer 10 is very far away. I'm going to have to make the galaxy smaller. Okay, there, there, so we can get there faster. We're getting towards Pioneer 10. There we, we're getting there. It may not seem like it. This is a vastness of space. And there we go. We get to see Pioneer 10. And I think once we got it, we have... 
Uh, nope. We don't. We have stellar information. I don't think we have. Is there a way to get information on this? This. Hmm. I don't know if there's a way just to get information on Pioneer Ten. I mean, we can look at it closer. I think that's as close as we can get. But you see the little satellite far off into our space, Pioneer 10, getting information from us. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, there's other galaxies, other stars. Um, let's try to... I don't know how we... <sighs> Is there a way to re to just restart, reset all? Okay, there we go. Okay, <laughs> it was gonna take us quite a long time to get back, uh, but let's check out Alpha Centauri. Or, what would, yeah. So let's uh, or Proxima Centauri, whichever one this is. And. Uh, We can see just <laughs> how big it is. And it is a lot bigger than our sun. And then you see some of the celestial objects around it. Oof. Which you see the distance between the sun, the star, and then this little bee planet. Which I don't know that we have. Do we have any information on it? Nope. 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 If there is, I don't know how to do this. Nope. It says stars, these planets have underlying names. Exoplanets in the habitable zone have underlying names. So that's all the underlying means. So. The only thing we can really do is, is, is get closer to it and, and check it out. So we can see some of the detail of this planet B that is rotating around Alpha Centauri. Pretty cool. Uh, this is only $3. It is an early access. Like I said, the developer does plan to do one-to-one -one scale and add more to this, but I, I think this is pretty amazing for three dollars um the only real complaint i have is just the lack of like music and stuff like that um i like to be able to like listen to my music or watch youtube videos you know some some acti some noise some uh activities that that way that exploring space isn't so lonely you know it just gives you something to to enjoy while you're enjoying exploring the universe as far as how, how much we know of it and just the amount of information we have now in 2023 is just amazing this, this is all information that as a kid we just you know <laughs> not to give away my age but as a kid we just really didn't know and uh, it, it really is amazing how much information we have now uh, on the universe on the cosmos and the cosmologists today are just amazing. Uh, the information they're able to glean just from the different satellites and the different telescopes um, is just mind-boggling. You know, all the information that we found out about our universe. And who knows, maybe one day we'll be able to fully investigate. Um... I do wish these controls were a little bit better. I would suggest versus using the joysticks, which is what we're using now. You basically use the joystick to move up and down and whatever, and another joystick to zoom in. I would say use the trigger to zoom in uh, and leave the joysticks to, to six degree of movement. So joystick one, move forward, backward, side to side, joystick two, turn, uh, forward, backward for... Uh, you know, rotating. 
And then the triggers should be what zoom you in and zoom you out. And maybe the grip button is what sets time to go faster and slower. I think that would be a better interface than what he has now. And maybe the the face buttons, the A or X or Y or B, are what, you know, you can go light years faster or whatever. So um, that would be my suggestion for the dev. But other than that, I have really enjoyed this. Uh, you can also set the different brightness for it. I don't think I had an issue with that. Um, there we go. Uh, but you see, there's just so much to explore. Um, this video would be very long if I tried to explore everything, even exploring our galaxy here, the sun, you know, Pioneer 10, Voyager 2, Gong Gong, Gong Gong, you know, which I believe is a Chinese satellite, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it's an asteroid. You know what? I thought it was a satellite, but now that I'm looking at it, it must be an asteroid. <laughs> Uh, shows how much I know. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just a hobbyist. Uh, but yeah, just exploring all this would take a very long time. But for $3, I think you're getting a very good deal here. It has a simple interface, but it's very effective. You know, just a way to get a quick look at all the celestial objects, not just in our galaxy, but in several other galaxies. Obviously, it's based on the information that we have. So some of it is just recreations other parts are, are going to be more accurate because we know a lot more about those celestial objects such as you know uh, neptune or you know mars or whatever we have a lot more information than we do of the other celestial objects so this is astro vr it is in early access it's only three dollars i'm not going to rate it because this is basically an educational app but i think it's good for for the price i think it's a really good deal and i do recommend it I'm Fast Lawyer. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.